Welcome to Underground Streams, the show that's here to inform, reform, and be the forum for discussion. Today's topic, the Hadron Collider. At the planetarium, we saw lots of stars. The Hubble telescope's pictures are more beautiful than Van Gogh's starry night. Deep space canvas, brilliant light. Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus. Okay, I guess we should find out what this Hadron Collider is all about. The Large Hadron Collider, operated by the European Organization for Nuclear Research, seeks to crash two beams of particles at a nanofraction under the speed of light. The collider aims to stimulate conditions milliseconds after the Big Bang, which created the universe around 13.7 billion years ago. Wow, sounds uh, fascinating. Please tell us more. I wanted to read a couple of definitions from um, a National Post article in March 2010. and It's called Explaining the Universe. And it says, uh, the Big Bang, most scientists believe the Big Bang is the only explanation of an expanding universe. Scientists hope that the experiment will show how stars and planets came together out of the primeval chaos that followed. Some fear mongers have speculated that the experiment, which is, we're talking about the the Hadron Collider, um, might also lead to another Big Bang or the opening of a black hole that would envelop the world. The God Particle, the Higgs bosom, named after Scottish physicist Peter Higgs, was proposed three decades ago to explain how the disparate matter produced by the Big Bang was converted to mass. Also called the God Particle, it is a hypothetical particle that scientists theorize gives mass to other particles, and thus to other objects and creatures in the universe. (laughs) Finding it would be a triumph for physics. Dark Matter? The first hint of dark matter came in 1933. It is believed to make up about 26% of the universe. Researchers believe the gravitational effect of dark matter makes galaxies spin faster. Dark matter may contain supersymmetric particles that scientists hope to find. Dark energy. Dark energy makes up approximately 70% of the universe and appears to be associated with a vacuum in space. Is that a mover? Sorry. Does not have any local gravitational effect but a global effect on the universe as a whole, a kind of repulsive force tending to accelerate the expansion of the universe. And finally, new dimensions. It has been speculated that scientists might find other dimensions other than the four already known, height, width, length, which is space, and time, which is temporal. So this is all associated with the Hadron Collider experiment that that just happened. Whoa, what are we talking about here? Black holes? Different dimensions? This sounds like a space odyssey. To go where no other man has gone before. Please help me out. Scientists now want the LHC, or Large Hadron Collider, to create what they consider to be the Big Bang conditions. LHC will pound atoms against each other and analyze the results through powerful computers in order to catch a glimpse at the very stuff that makes up the universe. Physicists hope the collider will enable them to directly observe the Higgs boson, the theoretical glue that holds the entire universe together. The Higgs boson, often called the God particle, is perhaps the most elusive element in particle physics. They call it the God Particle, a mysterious subatomic fragment that permeates the entire universe and explains how everything is the way it is. Nobody has ever seen the God Particle. Some say it doesn't exist, but in the ultimate leap of faith, physicists across the world are preparing to build one of the most ambitious and expensive scientific experiments the world has ever seen to try to find it. Science like religion often requires us to take a leap of faith. 
Any honest scientist should admit that despite centuries of scientific discovery and technological advances, most of our universe remains a mystery. There are large numbers of areas that despite careful investigation, we do not fully understand. From the magic of photosynthesis to the mysterious particles that make up the fabric of space and time. And just to verify, they actually did collide two particles and they feel it was a success. And they are collecting the data from the computers and analyzing it. And that's what stage they are at right now. All right. The particles have collided. They're taking the data. They're analyzing it. And the Earth didn't get sucked into a black hole. Phew! Did they find different dimensions? What will they find? And why? Why do they want to find these things? Interesting question. Why are the scientists searching this out? Trying to find this elusive God particle. I think partially it's due to the fact that they're looking at the universe through the Hubble's telescope and they're seeing things that don't make sense. They're trying to figure out why the universe is doing what it's doing. So that's why they came up with the theory of dark matter and they're trying to prove it. So I think mankind has a desire to know why things are the way they are. And I don't think that's really a bad thing. I think it's curiosity. They're going to try to get answers for, you know, they're always looking for some kind of conclusion to to knowledge. I know Leonardo da Vinci was looking that for that thing that kept everything together, you know, you know, some form of knowledge that connected everything. And the last one I'm aware of was the whole idea of string theory, where they were finding energy that connected all the different types of energy together, and they found it. What's important for, for many people is that the world is just getting more and more complicated or the, the system of the physical reality we live in. As you see how complicated things are more and more, you can't help but think that there's, a let's say, a designer to the whole system. I think that there's also the, the whole pride of man is such that he thinks that he needs to know how everything works and how it operates. To admit that there's something of a higher power or something that's greater than himself is something that uh, that man, I think, fears because he wants to think that he's in control when we know that there's something much bigger in control than who we are in of ourselves. And I think it's part of, uh, I think, the vacuum that divine love has created in us uh, to recognize that there's something bigger than us. 